everyone's favorite competition, the Conference League is down to the final eight, where we have incredible matchups like Lech Poznan going up against Fiorentina and Ghent against West Ham. We're going to break that all down in today's video, and I'll be giving you my predictions for the quarterfinal matchups. Let me know your quarterfinal predictions in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and hit the like button. It's the Conference League. It's the quarterfinal predictions video. We should be hitting at least 100 likes. Let's get into the video. The first matchup, it is Lech Poznan taking on Fiorentina. Wow, oh wow, Lech Poznan. They have still conceded zero goals in the knockout stage in the Conference League. They didn't concede against Bodo Glimt, and they destroyed Jurgarden 5-0 on aggregate. Marzinski was incredible in both legs for Lech Poznan against Jurgarden, but now they're going up against Fiorentina. But one thing we have seen with Lech Poznan, they are a difficult team to play against. Definitely home and away. So it doesn't matter. You can ask Villarreal. They gave a tough game to Villarreal. This will not be easy for Fiorentina whatsoever. But Vincenzo Italiano. It was looking a little bit rough for him at the beginning of the season. I thought he was going to be sacked. And I was like, no, we cannot let this great manager be sacked. They are on absolute roll at the moment in the Serie A, Coppa Italia, and the Conference League. Once Italiano got one of Cabral or Jovic scoring... Then you just see how good the football is. It's just incredible to watch this team play. It's just such beautiful attack in football. And that is going to be the thing here. Lech Poznan are going to have to defend deep and hit them on the counter attack. It's going to be a clash of two styles where Fiorentina are going to be the very attacking team. And Lech Poznan will be playing on the counter attack. But we have seen Lech Poznan are a very good counter attacking team this season in the Conference League. I just think Fiorentina are on an absolute roll at the moment. This is no disrespect to Lech Poznan. They have been incredible this season in the Conference League. I just think Fiorentina, they have a bit too much firepower. And I'm going to go with them advancing to the semifinals. The second matchup, it is Ghent taking on West Ham United. There's only one name to talk about from Ghent. And that is Gift Orban. Scored the quickest hat trick in UEFA history. Yes, Gift Orban. A guy who was playing in the second division of Norway last season. Ghent with their scouting, ridiculous. And they destroyed Basa Kashir away from home. So can Gift Orban continue his amazing goal scoring form against West Ham United? I've talked about Kupiers before on the channel. So Ghent are no joke. They're going up against West Ham. Now West Ham, they destroyed Aiko Lanarka. That was going to happen. But it just seems like with West Ham, I mean, look at the league form. They're get, they just got destroyed by Newcastle United 5-1. I mean, the defensive mistakes I saw in that game were horrendous. And if you're going to allow those chances to Gift Orban, he will punish you. So West Ham cannot take Ghent lightly. If you do, they will lose this game. They will, because Ghent actually have quality going forward. But at the end of the day, West Ham still have the likes of Skamaka, Lucas Paqueta. And I know it's been a tough season for West Ham. But in the Conference League, they've been ultra dominant. So I'm going to go with West Ham United advancing to the semifinals. But Ghent, they could pull off the upset. The third tie, it is Anderlecht taking on Aze Alkmaar. Anderlecht with probably the biggest upset so far in the Conference League. Beating Villarreal away from home. Verbruggen, this 20-year-old goalkeeper put in a masterclass against Ludo Goretz and against Villarreal. So he's definitely a goalkeeper for the future. And with the addition of Slimani, Anderlecht, man, you've got to give them a lot of credit because they've gone up against two tough teams in Ludo Goretz and Villarreal. They beat them both and now they're in the quarterfinals. They could be a sneaky team to win this competition, but they're going up against Alze Alkmaar. And what did I tell you about Alze Alkmaar? They are a team who will score for fun. Carlson, Pavlidis, I just keep repeating the same names because those same guys keep performing for Aze Alkmaar. And they are such a good attacking team, but they're going to be left frustrated against Anderlecht and especially Verbruggen. So what's going to happen? Verbruggen is going to keep Pavlidis and Carlson quiet or Aze Alkmaar just have too much firepower and will advance to the semifinals. Oh, I just don't know who's going to win because Anderlecht have been a really sneaky team, but Aze Alkmaar are just so good. They're so good. So I'm going to go... With Oz Alkmaar to advance to the semifinals. The final tie, it is Basel taking on Nice. Basel with an incredible late comeback against Slovan Bratislava. They were 2-0 down in the first half. What happens then? Calafiori, the new boy Amodini, who even made his debut for Switzerland, came up really, really clutch. Scored in the 93rd minute and Basel won on penalties and knocked out Slovan Bratislava. But now they're going up against Nice. But yet again from Basel. They haven't been the most impressive team, I think, in the Conference League. But they've just grinded out results. And it doesn't matter how you play in the knockout stage. It's just about getting the results. They weren't better than Trabzonspor. They beat them. 
They were okay against Slovan Bratislava and came back and just showed that mentality that Basel have. It's been a terrible season in the Swiss League, but in the Conference League, they're showing a different mentality. And now they're up against Nice. And Nice are definitely one of the favorites for the Conference League with the likes of Mofi, Laborde, Brahimi, Amorui. So Nice are just on a roll at the moment to Ram. There's so many names. And I just think they're heading into a good direction into this game. They're playing very good football. They're doing well in Liga. I just like the way Nice are playing. I just think Basel, they've had an incredible conference league campaign so far in the knockout stage, especially. If you want drama, watch a Basel game because it's guaranteed drama. I just think Nice, they're going to win this tie and advance to the semifinals. There we have it, people. The quarterfinal predictions for the conference league. It's been an incredible drama filled conference league season the second edition i love this competition because you get great matchups and matchups you would never think would happen when it was the europa league and champions league but now with this great competition we get to see these matchups so let me know your predictions in the comments down below hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new around here have a beautiful day stay safe in this crazy world and until next time adios